of the same paper. Um, and um, let's, this one's a little bit of a tricky question, actually. So let's read it carefully. Figure two shows how the current through filament lamp changes after a lamp after the lamp is switched on. Um, now, sometimes with these questions, people get a bit bit thrown because the graph might look a bit complicated, but um, and they might think maybe they think, oh, I don't really know much about electricity or about current, and so they back away from the question and leave it alone. Um, you don't actually need to know anything about electricity or current to understand this question. You just need to know how to read a graph. So it says the normal current through the filament lamp is 0.5 amps. So you can see that because, whoa, what happened there? Okay, you can see that because it's it's this line here. So it's, that's the normal current, which, and you can see that it, it's it begins around the normal current around about here so it starts that about it starts the normal current around about there for how many seconds is the current through the filament lamp greater than 1.5 amps so you can see it's greater than 1.5 amps um all the way from here to to that point i just drew there So why, um, so how much, how, what period of time is that? We have to zoom in um, quite closely to see what's what here. The scale might throw you. So I'll show you here that. So if I click use this maybe. If that's 0 0.05, there are 10 squares. That That means that each two squares would be 0.01 so 0 0.01 0 0.02 0 0.03 0 0.4 0 0.04 0 0.05 so that means it starts at this one right so i'm going to just make a a, a, a finer point here it starts there well a bit wonky but Okay, so that is two squares, which means that it means it starts at 0 0.01. And it finishes two squares from the end, which means it finishes 0 0.01 less, which means that must be 0 0.09. Okay, so the difference, in fact, is between those two numbers, which would be 0 0.08. And they're really, really quite, um, quite evil here. Now, actually, you know what? You could fluke this answer. So, because what somebody might do is they might think they might see two squares from 0 0.01 and go, oh, that's 0 0.08. And then read no other part of the question and write 0 0.08. And they'd get the answer right. It may seem a bit unfair because um, they haven't taken into account that at this beginning bit, is is below 0 0.05 sorry 1.5 amps as well so it, so you would have to so i i would i feel like that's a bit of a badly written question because someone could easily fluke that answer um so you're looking at the, the period of time that it's above 1.5 amps and it was and it starts being above it from here if and it falls to 1.5 amps around about here so it goes from 0 0.01 seconds to 0 0.09 seconds which means the difference is 0 0.08 incidentally the reason uh, why uh, th this graph explains the reason why often your light bulbs will blow just as you turn them off if your the filament inside the lamp is getting really worn down you can see just as you turn it on you get this shoot of current um and so that's why it's much more likely to blow at that point when then once it's been around been on for a while okay let's continue why might this might actually oh dear this is i'm just giving you the answer to the next question okay so why might the filament inside a lamp melt when a lamp is first switched on okay so i've just told you the answer haven't i it's um so the answer is because because the current 
not very sensitive this because the current is higher than 1.5 amps okay or you can just say higher than normal value all right so that's that's that the lamp the lamp is connected to a 24 um, volt power supply the current through the lamp is 1.5 amps calculate the power of the lamp oh these questions are really easy you a lot of people are so scared of maths and physics, but they've just given you the equation. They ask you to calculate the power, and then they tell you that the power is equal to the potential difference times the current. They tell you the current. Oh, and, well, you would have to know that is potential difference. But you, you could probably guess, couldn't you, because there's, they've given you the current, so, it's, um, so the other number might be the potential difference. So really if you if you ask if you are a little bit scared of these maths questions at the moment i really recommend that you you um get over that get over that fear so you're just going to do 24 oops 24 times 1.5 so 24 times 1.5 ends up being 36 watts which is and they've given you the unit there Okay, again, I'm not going to go into what power is or anything. We don't need to know what power is for this question. I'm not teaching you and, and the subject at the moment. I'm just teaching you how to answer this question. For other, if you want to learn, learn about power, uh, you can watch some of my other videos if they're available yet. They're not at this moment of recording or you can contact me for tuition. Okay, so 2.4. LED lamps are much more efficient than filament lamps. What does this statement mean? LED lamps have a similar output. Okay, we just what is what is this question testing? Well, it's just testing that you understand what this mean this word means. So, what does efficient means? It, what does it mean? It means that a higher proportion of the energy I put in gets used usefully. So, let's say I put a hundred joules in of energy. And I only get 20 joules out as used. So in this case, it would be used as light. Maybe the other 80 gets used just to make it hot. Um, and that, in fact, is will be the case. So, so basically, if it's very efficient, then more of that energy gets used for light. That's what efficient means. More of the energy that I give it gets used in the way that I want it to be used. So which one seems to fit that fit that definition? LED lamps waste a smaller proportion of the energy, input energy, than filament lamps. Um, so I'll start at the top. LED lamps have a similar output to filament lamps. Well, it may do, it may not. In fact, I think it does, um, because but that's whether or not it's true is different to what 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 the question is. The question is asking you which one does that mean? It does not mean that. It does not mean that. LED lamps have waste a smaller proportion of the input energy um, than filament lamps. Yeah, that's what it's saying. Let's just read the other ones. LED lamps have a higher input than filament lamps. Um, no, uh, you, it actually ha it would have a lower input. It's designed to produce the same amount of light and um, with a lower input. But again, it doesn't matter whether it's true or not. It's about it's not asking you which one's true. It's asking you uh, which one means. The above statement. Any lamp waste a larger proportion of the input energy than filament lamps, um, and that would be definitely false and also not mean the above statement. Okay. All right, we'll stop there, and I'll make a video for question three.